Okay, my name is Sister Hosea, and I'm with Catholic News Service. Hi, Sister Hosea. Hi. Hello. Hi, Kevin. How are you? Hi, Bailey. Hello. I'm going to switch to gallery so I can see you both. Yes, I Oh, thank that. you so much for, for taking the time to be with me today. I really appreciate it. Glad to be here. Thank you. So I have a question for you, Bailey. Um, you know, at one point, Avery in, in the film tells uh, Will about the, the scripture quote that means a lot to her from Jeremiah. You know, I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord, for your good. And I, I guess I'm just kind of interested to know, like, what's your take? Like, what does that mean for you? And what do you hope that the audience will get out of sharing that particular lovely quote from the Bible? Oh, I love that you picked up on that. You know, a little fun fact. Uh, we we decided to write that that quote in and that in, in that scene uh, the night before filming that like it was 1 30 in the morning probably we were all on the phone we were like how and then we woke up the next morning we were like still kind of bouncing ideas before the night shoot and and um, and one of our producers you know came to me and then the rest of the team came and they were like we have this thought and uh, and, uh, you know, they were like, how does that feel natural coming out of your mouth? You know what I mean? Do you relate to those words? The only way that it works is if you do. And, um, and it truly did it. I mean, it hit me so, so much. I think my mom, we always have like a joking thing that we say in the family. We're like, we plan God laughs. And it is so true. Like you can't plan anything, you know, he's got his plan and he's got everything in control, but, um, you've got to lean into that on those moments when, when you're hit with a curveball and just trust that there's such a better, such a better light out there uh, for you around the corner. And so uh, I was, I was thrilled to get to, to get to say those words and, and read that scripture. Cause I think there's, there's something for everyone within those words um, and whatever part of your life, either past or present or current that you can, that you can relate to when, when reading them or hearing those words. I found it wonderful that they even put that into the opening montage with the credit, you know, it yeah. slips into Avery's journal there. And I thought, oh, that was wonderful. Yes, <laughs> love it. You <laughs> know, that's I actually watched the film more than once. <laughs> How many? You watched it twice? Yeah, I watched it twice. That's you know. so great. Thank yeah. you. And you'll watch it again on the 26th, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Kevin, I, I was wondering, you know, Will's character is a lot about really feeling love and connection with other people. And that's what he's missing in his life. And I'm wondering how, like, what kind of advice might you have for, for teens who are going through the a kind of situation similar to Will's and, and, you know, how can you encourage them and how can Will be an encouragement to them? Uh, I, I've always had a strange relationship with love and connection. I was never very good at it, <laughs> but, you know, I feel like I've learned so much from a week away. Um, really loving connection is, is those who are willing to show up for you. And I feel like in the film, that's Avery's character, Avery, uh, was a really easy character for, for Will to relate to. Um, even George, you know, I love their relationship and, and the friendship that they have. So I think my advice to teens and growing up is to just reach out for your community. You know, uh, those who are willing to show up for you, take it, you know. That's wonderful, wonderful. So this is a more fun question for both of you. Uh, what was your favorite scene to either play or to film? And I just kind of see if it's gonna match with the one I really liked. <laughs> I love that. Uh, Kevin, you can go first. I had so much fun with the dive musical number. It's so dynamic and the way that the landscape is constantly changing from the dock to the blob to George coming down the sidewalk to the beach, the water. It, there's so much energy in that number that it, it might be my favorite scene of the entire entire that was George's favorite too <laughs> oh, I love that um I I loved I loved filming best thing ever at the end of the film uh just because it was the last time that we did a musical sequence and there were a whole lot of feelings and a lot of support it was good um uh one of my favorite scenes though that was like really special to film um, and I think I'm just so grateful that, that it belongs in the movie um, is the awesome God and God only knows mashup. Uh, I remember going in to record it. It wasn't really ever supposed to be a duet. I think I fought like crazy to make a duet because I was like, this is like between the two of them is so special. And um, 
I don't know. I think I think the fact that a, a scene like that can exist in this day and age is a, is a really special thing. Those were both beautiful moments. I, although I must say my favorite is when you were like, let's Mr. and Mrs. Smith this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> went out. I just thought that was great. You know, all the film references. And then and Kevin's it. like, Kevin's like hands it back to him. Like, no, it's both. Like you should. Yeah, you both both. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Yeah. So I just wanted to thank you both for, for taking the time to be with us, uh, with us today and, um, and to wish you luck and to assure you with my prayers as you go forward. Thank you. We appreciate it so, so much. Stay safe and be well. God bless you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Sister. Bye.